Hi everybody, welcome to another Kids Craft. Today we're going to be making a stuffed snowman from a sock. Now don't worry, you're not gonna have to do any sewing for this project. Here's what you're gonna need. First of all, obviously you are going to need a sock. Just make sure your sock is clean and doesn't have any holes in it. Mine is a brand new sock, so we don't have that problem. Uh, next, you're going to need some stuffing. Uh, you're going to need something to weigh down the bottom of your snowman. I'm going to use some rice. You can use beans, beads, just something that's a little heavier that you can put in the bottom of your sock to keep your snowman sitting upright. And you're going to need some clear elastic hair ties, uh, three or four. Um, I'll probably use three for the one I'm going to make, but you can have an extra one on hand, uh, just kind of depending on how your snowman turns out. I'm going to need some scissors. Uh, you're going to need glue. I'm going to use hot glue if you're using hot glue. Um, do be careful, have an adult help you. Um, tacky glue works as well. Um, and then you're going to need uh, whatever you want to decorate your snowman with. This is kind of up to you, but here's what I'm going to use. I have a ribbon. I have two pom-poms. I'm going to give my snowman feet. You can get uh, two more pom-poms for arms if you'd like, or you can find some sticks, something like that. That's up to you, but I'm just going to give mine just legs. I have some black and orange felt to cut out some accessories. And of course, I have a pair of googly eyes. Here is how we start. First of all, we're going to cut off the ribbed part of the sock here. So I'm just going to cut that straight across. You can leave a little bit. That is fine. Just cut that straight across like that. And I'm going to set this aside because I'm going to use this for another piece later. Okay. And you are going to open your sock, take your rice, and very carefully pour this into the toe of the sock. You may want to do this over a bowl or paper or something so you know, the rice doesn't get everywhere. Let's make sure that settles into the bottom, like so. There you go, this is gonna help your snowman sit upright. And next, we're going to take some of our stuffing and put it down in the bottom of your sock. This is where it's uh, kind of up to you. Um, squish the rice around just a little bit. Um, mine, I'm only going to give two spheres. Uh, so I'll have two parts to my snowman. If you want to do three, put a little bit less stuffing. I'm going to put a little bit more in mine because I want him to have a larger bottom. There we go. You kind of want to squish things around a little bit to make sure you have the shape that you like. I think I can still use maybe a little tiny bit more. There we go. Okay. And once you have a shape you like, make sure you leave space at the top. Take one of your hair ties and tie off the bottom part of the sock. Like so. Make sure that is nice and tight. Make sure you push that all the way down to the bottom. There we go. Okay, so I have the bottom. My snowman gave me one to squish it around a little bit more just to make sure the rice is where you want it to be. Next, you're going to get more stuffing and put it in until you have the size of head you like. That seems a little big. Let's... Probably should have put a little bit more in the bottom, but that is okay. I think that looks good. So once you have it the way you like it, just take your hair tie again and tie off the top. You are gonna have a little bit left over at the top, that is fine. We are gonna give our snowman a hat, so you don't need to worry about that. So we'll cover that up. Take that around a couple times. And there we go. And one thing you can do with your snowman, and this is optional, you don't have to do this if you like this look. You can put some glue around the bottom here and stick it together so it's a little more 
looks a little more natural. I think I'm going to do that with mine, so I'll be right back. All right, and there we go. I did go ahead and cut off a little bit of the excess um, on top of my snowman there, but you might not have to do that. I just had a little bit more than I liked, so I'm going to cut that off. So mine only has two layers, which is fine. I'm going to leave that like that because I like the look of it. But you can add a little less stuffing in each layer and use an extra hair tie and make a three-layer snowman like so. Uh, the choice is up to you. Um, I just like the look of this one better, but if you like this look, yeah, that's fine. Go for it. Um, same thing applies. Rice in the bottom and just a little bit less stuffing in each layer. So next, let's make our snowman a hat. For your hat, you're going to need that ribbed part um, of the sock that you cut off earlier. What you're gonna do is gather up one end. I'm gonna do the end that I cut, actually. And then one of your hair ties. And just tie off a little bit at the top, like so. This is gonna be like a cap with a little fluff at the top. There you go. And you can decorate this however you like. If you want to take um, some paint or markers or whatever and paint a pattern, um, that's up to you. But I'm just going to leave mine plain. Leave my snowman back. And you're just going to put it right on top of your snowman's head like so. It should stretch enough that it will stick. You won't, shouldn't need any glue or anything. You can glue it down for a little extra security if you like, but I think I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, next, we're going to decorate our snowman. Uh, this is, you can do this however you like, but I'm going to start, I'm going to cut a nose and some buttons for mine. Um, be right back. Okay, there we are. And again, I just cut these out of felt. I went and I cut a mouth for my snowman as well. Next, I'm going to need some eyes. There we go, and my snowman can see. Um, I'm going to use some ribbon around the neck for a scarf. You can tie it on or you can glue it, which I think I might go ahead and glue. Just a second. Okay, there we go. He's looking nice and cozy. Now I'm going to take my pom-poms. I'm just going to put them on the bottom for some feet. Okay, there we go. And again, you can add um, sticks for arms. I can get more pom-poms and give pom-pom hands. That's up to you. I'm just going to do just feet on mine. So, and there you have adorable stuffed snowman. Should sit nicely on his own like that. And a couple friends here, there we go. They have some frosty friends who will not melt when it gets warm. Thank you for joining us for this month's Kids Craft and we will see you next time.